Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Top Scholars. Today, we'll be discussing about steps in balancing a chemical equation. So, friends, how do we balance a chemical equation? Step number one is to simply write down the chemical equation with reactants on the left hand side and the products on the right hand side. So, remember, for writing down a chemical reaction, you need to write down the reactants on the left hand side and products on the right hand side. For example, iron reacts with water resulting in the formation of iron oxide and hydrogen. So what you need to do is for writing down the chemical equation, write down the reactants on the left hand side. So we have iron and water that is Fe plus H2O written on the left hand side which are the reactants. And the products we have is yes iron oxide and hydrogen. These products are written on the right hand side. So as you can see the reactants and the products, right? We have reactants on the left hand side and products on the right hand side with an arrow between them, right? Step number two is to list the total number of atoms of different elements that are present in the unbalanced equation. So what we have to do is we have to equalize the number of atoms present on both sides that is reactant side and product side. So balancing a chemical equation actually means that the total number of atoms on both the sides, that is on the reactant side and the product side should be same. For example, here I have a reaction wherein iron reacts with water giving me iron oxide and hydrogen. Now what I am going to do is in the first column I am going to write down the element. In the second column we have number of atoms in reactants and in the third column I have number of atoms in products. So can you tell me which are the elements that are present in this reaction? Yes, iron, hydrogen and oxygen. Can you tell me what is the number of iron atoms in the reactant side, right? Yes, one. And on the product side, three atoms of iron. How many atoms of hydrogen are there on the reactant side? Two atoms. And on the product side, yes, again two atoms. Can you tell me about oxygen on the reactant side? One oxygen. Product side, four oxygen, right? So here you can see that the number of atoms on the reactant side and the product side is not equal, right? It is not the same, which means that it is an unbalanced reaction. So step number three is to balance the reaction, right? So what I need to do is I need to start balancing the compound or the element which has the maximum number of atoms. Now generally, initially hydrogen or the oxygen atom is balanced, right? Because it is easily balanced, right? Now in the previous example that we saw just now, reaction of iron with water resulting in the formation of iron oxide and hydrogen gas. Now in this reaction, the element which contains the maximum number of atoms was which? Yes, it was oxygen, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to first start balancing oxygen, right? Now on the reactant side, how many oxygen atoms are there? One oxygen atom, whereas on the product side, we have four atoms of oxygen, right? So, in order to balance the number of oxygen atoms, what I need to do is, I need to simply multiply the oxygen atom on the reactant side with four, right? So, when I multiply it with four, what I get is four oxygen atoms on the reactant side and on the product side, right? Always remember that when you multiply the number, right? So, you put the number as the coefficient. Now, when you put the number as the coefficient, you will notice that not only the oxygen atoms become 4, but the number of hydrogen atoms present on the reactant side also changes, right? Initially, there were two atoms of hydrogen, right? But when you added the coefficient 4, the number of hydrogen atoms become 8. 4 twos are 8, exactly, right? So, that, which means that now it is an unbalanced reaction. Since on the reactant side, I have eight atoms of hydrogen and on the product side, I have only two atoms of hydrogen, right? So, it is an unbalanced reaction. So, now I need to balance the reaction, right? By balancing the remaining elements that are present in the reaction. So, as I said, initially, that is after uh, adding the coefficient 4, the number of hydrogen atom on the reactant side is 8, whereas on the product side, I have two atoms of hydrogen, right? So, now I need to balance the number of hydrogen atom, right? So, for balancing the number of hydrogen atom, what I need to simply do is, I need to simply multiply 4 on the product side, right? That is, I am going to simply put or I am going to simply add the coefficient 4 to the hydrogen, right? 
So now the number of hydrogen atoms on the product side becomes 8, right? 4 twos are 8. Now let's move to the number of iron atoms, right? Now on the reactant side, you can see we have one atom of iron, whereas on the product side, we have three atoms of iron, right? So now I need to balance the number of iron atoms, right? So for balancing the number of iron atoms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply multiply 3, right? That is I'm going to put the coefficient 3 on the reactant side, right? So now the number of iron atoms becomes equal, right? 3 atoms of iron, right? Okay. Now step number 5 is I need to check whether my equation is balanced, right? By simply counting the atoms of each element that is present on both sides of the equation, right? That is on the reactant side and on the product side. And this method is known as the hit and the trial method, right? Because you are simply trying to balance the equation, right? By actually multiplying numbers, adding coefficient, right? So now let's check whether now this equation is balanced or not, right? So we have three elements, iron, hydrogen and oxygen. Tell me what is the number of iron atoms on reactant side? Three atoms. And on the product side? Yes, three atoms. Hydrogen atoms? Yes, eight. Product side? Eight. What about oxygen atoms? Yes, oxygen atoms on the reactant side? Four. Product side? Also four. Now since the number of atoms on the reactant as well as on the product side are equal, they are same, we can say that it is a balanced reaction. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.